Hi. Got myself a new haircut. You like? Mm hmm? Hi guys, welcome to Movie Boner. My name is Frankie Pozos, your host is with the mostest. Well, today is going to be a fun one. Well, this past week, I recently saw Insidious, the horror film directed by James Wan and written by Lee, Lee Winnell, the guys that did Saw and also did Death Sentence and uh, Dead Silence. It, and, and Insidious was freaking awesome. I really enjoyed it. It was a fresh take on those horror, horror stuff. It was really cool. Cool ghosts, awesome things. It was really, really creepy as hell. And when I went home that night, I kind of had, like, nightmares about, like, oh, no, there's going to be a red demon after me, an old lady after me, and, oh, oh ah, you know, all that kind of creepy stuff. It was really cool. And anyway, so I was thinking, maybe I should do, like, a top five list of films that freaked me out as a kid and up until now. So that'd be great, right? So let's do it. Top five films that freaked me out as a kid and as a, an adult now. All right, number one, let's go. Paranormal Activity. Yes, right now I said that, and you're going probably like, Frank, what are you talking about? You're stupid. I, now I, I just have to turn off this video now. I can't listen to what you're saying. But this film freaked me out. This is my opinion. All right, so I saw it. I creep me out um, in the night. I hear things, and I'm like, "Oh my God, what's that over there?" You know, and it's fun. Um, the sequel wasn't that is that scary. I know it was a retread. They did the same kind of stuff, but they gave too much of the mythology, and I felt it didn't. I uh, it kind of removed the the scariness of the first one because here I always thought like, "Oh, it can happen to anybody," but in the second one, no, it's like, "Oh, the demon's only after her. That's the reason she did something," and it's like, "Oh, lame." But I like this one. Good paranormal activity it scared me. Number dos, Nightmare on Elm Street. Wow. Yes, the 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 original one, Robert England. Don't worry, I'm not a moron. And um, this one creeped me out. You know, it's like they didn't show Freddy that much. You know, you didn't see the whole like hook nose makeup. It was a little in the shadows. You know, it was terrifying and creepy. You know, with the giant arms, or he became different people. It was just creepy as hell, and I loved it. It felt like you were just trapped in that dream world. The sequels were not as scary at all, and that's a shame. And the remake was fun, but it, it, it was better than all the sequels, I have to say. I know there's people out there, what are you talking about? Dream Warriors was the best one ever, and it's like, I don't agree with that, but okay, yeah, that's a good idea there. But I, I liked uh, the remake. It was fun. Jackie Hurley, come on. Clancy Brown, come on. But anywho, this one scared me. Creeps me out. I still love it cool as hell. Number Trace. The Shining. Yeah, there you go, The Shining. That's that's obvious. You can probably see why it would scare me. There you go, The Shining. Stanley Kubrick, Stephen King, boom, The Shining. Number Quattro. The Blair Witch Project. I know, people are like, oh, nothing happened. They just roam around in the woods and it's all shaky. It's, Come on, it's stupid. Um, I liked it. It was creepy. And every time I go in the woods now, it's like, I don't want to go in that abandoned cabin. Or, like, I don't want to go over there, because I don't want to be killed by scary ghosts or hear children outside my tent. So I don't go camping anymore, either. So thanks a lot, Blair Witch Project. Fuck you. But, it's a cool one. I liked it. It was fun. Come on. It's all in your imaginations, what you want to believe. And I like that. I think the people that don't, they think nothing happened is like, do they have an imagination? Come on. Have fun. Create shit. In the dark, create monsters. Come on. Anyway, I mean, Blair Witch Project, there you go. And number five, Juan or The Grudge. I love this one. This scared me. I was lucky enough to see it in theaters when it like did a little like re-release or something. Not the remake. The remake is not scary. Not that scary. Or not even scary at all. This one creeped me out. And the cool thing about this one is they didn't do in the remake was they would in this they would show you the the, the name of a person and then show you that show you that person dying by the grudge. And I'm sorry that's a spoiler, but the thing is, you, every time you saw it, you're like, no, there's no way that person's going to die. No. And they would die. And you're like, no, no, this time, no way. This guy is like the detective. He's going to solve the, oh my god, he died. Really? Anyhow, um, Juan the Grudge. Creepy as hell. The kid's scary. Uh, but not the remix. It's weird because it's the same director, so I, I, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. There you go. 
Now, as I did that list, top five horror films that creep me out, I was thinking, uh, probably people are like, Frank, what the hell was that? Those are not scary at all. You're stupid. So I was thinking, I'll make top five lists of films that are, like, horror films that I enjoy, and I think they're cool. So I made a, a list of, like, cool, unique films that I think are fun horror that I enjoy. I mean, in this list, you won't see the Evil Dead's or the Halloween's or the Hellraiser's or, um, the Jason's. You know, none of that stuff, but, um, or the Cannibal Holocausts. Uh, th those are all cool films, or Eli Roth stuff, or uh, Rob Zombies. I, I try to pick ones that are kind of unique to my personality that I enjoy and I love to watch. I'm not saying those other films are bad. I love the films. I have them. They're all there. They're here. They're here. But I'm going to pick some cool ones that I want to show you, and there you go. Here you go. My top five horror films that I think are pretty badass. Number one, Return of the Living Dead. Yes. Awesome film. Great. Um... A great film that had a great blend of comedy and horror. And that's really difficult to do. Judging by the sequels, they didn't know how to do that. They didn't know how to do the delicate blend of comedy and horror. Either it's way too horror or way too comedy and they didn't understand it. This film had a delicate blend and it worked. Dan O'Bannon did a great job. Um, a great ending, great characters. It was awesome. Laughs, scary, everything's creepy. William Stout's design of the monsters were terrifying. I loved it. Check it out if you haven't seen it. Return of the Living Dead. Not saying that Romero stuff isn't bad. I love Romero. There you go. Number dos. The Hitcher. Not the one with Sean Bean, do, you know, done by Platinum Dunes. No, this is the one that they remade. This is The Hitcher, starring Rucker Hauer, C. Thomas Howell, and Jennifer Jason Lee. This is a great one. It's, it's creepy as hell. Creepy. Rucker Hauer terrorizing C. Thomas Howell. Look at his beautiful C. Thomas Howell eyes. Like, oh, you, you don't want him creeped out, man. He shouldn't be creeped out. But I love it. Check it out. And it's not it doesn't it's not filled with happy endings either. You know. Check it out. The creepy one. The Hitcher. Number three. I talked about this one before, so here you go. The Manhunter. Directed by Michael Mann. Having no relation to Manhunter though. So anyway. Um this is um based on Red Dragon, but they called it Manhunter. And the, I would say this is highly superior to Silence of the Lambs and all the other ones. I mean, Hannibal's a cool one, but it's not that creepy. But this one, scary and fun, man. William L. Peterson is amazing. Um, Brian Cox as Hannibal Lecter. Instead of Lecter, but Lecter. They spell it differently. I don't know why. But um, Brian Cox, awesome. And Tom Noonan as Dollar Hyde. Freaking kick ass. So I highly recommend this. And the cool thing about this one is, like in Silence of the Lambs, they glorify the killer, they show the killer. I mean, yeah, you have to catch the killer, but it's all about the killer. Here, it's they, they, what Michael Mann did, it's like, well, you know, Willem Pearson is badass. Dollar Hyde, Tom Noonan is badass. And they're, and he's, and, but William, freak, William L. Peterson is going to freaking get him. He's going to get that killer. He is the Manhunter. You know, that's the guy who's the Manhunter, not the killer. So it's so badass. Check it out, Manhunter. I love this one. Uh, number Quattro, Cemetery Man with Rupert Everett. Great movie. Creepy, weird, fun. Check it out. Rupert Everett plays a cemetery man, <laughs> and he, ba he basically uh, kills zombies that come out of the cemetery. That's his job, and it's such a crazy, fun, weird film. I love it. I highly recommend this. It's very unique, very special. Check it out. Cemetery Man. Very fun. Very good one. And last but not least, of course, why would I not allow this film to be here? The Thing! Dude, The Thing is so cool. The Thing. It's The Thing, dude. It's The Thing, man. Awesome. Directed by John Carpenter, starring Kurt Russell, Keith David, um, a lot of other cool dudes I can't think of right now. But it's a great ensemble piece. And, you know, and it dwells into that John Carpenter stuff, you know, man, his, man's inhumanity to man, or like, who's really our enemy? We're all together, I don't know. Ugh. And it's creepy as hell. I love it. And the monster design, done by Rob Bottin, and some of it was done by Stan Winston. Great, great. Scary as hell. The texture, everything. Terrifying. I love it. Every shot is fucking amazing. I love it. The thing. There you go. So those are my top five. I know you have your list, and... You have your other lists of other things. and But that's my list. I like to show you my scary stuff for my films that I think are pretty badass. My little unique batch of films. So, there you go. You probably think I'm stupid. You probably think, Frank, that wasn't a cool horror list. You didn't scare. None of those films are very scary at all. 
but I don't fucking care because those films, I have fun and I own them and I'm happy with them, all right? So that's what films all are about, you know, to have fun and to watch them, all right? So don't be a fucking asshole. Enjoy films, all right? This has been this week's Movie Boner. My name is Frankie Pozos and have a great day, week, night, or anything. So now I give you what you want. Bye-bye. <sighs> Bye. Bye. Week porn star of the week. Porn star of the week. Yeah.